Hello guys! Oh wait, wrong channel. Welcome back. I'm Ablaut and this is day 48 of my VCV Rec experiments. But today we're doing something special because this patch is not made by me. I did do what I said yesterday and uh, try out the uh, strange attractors as oscillator, but the Lorenz attractor just gives us basically noise. It's very noisy. Uh, the wrestler attractor is usable, but overall, I think they function better as LFRs. Anyway, back to today's patch. We have this patch called um, A Resonance of Clouds, made by Dave Phillips, which I found on the Facebook official VCV Rack users group. And this patch is just delicious. It's amazing. Just listen to that bass, for example. Those little details. Plus, it is based on chaos, on randomness, so it is forever changing. This is my favorite kind of modular patch self generative, ambient, goes on forever, lots of little detail. You can just listen to this for hours, which I actually have been doing. And I can't get enough of it. So let's take a closer look. What is going on here? Well, we have a clock that uh, Dave set to 300 BPM, by the way. I uh, dialed it down because, well, it's ambient. I like slower changes. And it works just as well. Um, there is then a clock divider and some more division going on here in this BPM LFOs from Frozen Wasteland. Very useful modules. Um, one of them, uh, both of them get the clock divided by two, and then one of them divides it by 16, the other by 32. You can see this one goes twice as fast as the other one. And uh, the sine and triangle outputs of these are used to modulate all kinds of stuff in this patch. Okay, that is just the timing. Then, our oscillators. We have quite a few of them, actually. We have here the E340 Cloud Generator, which is the heart of the patch. It's modulated here by these LFOs. And... Uh, Outputs go into two resonator modules. The pitch information for Proctiv comes from this shift register, which gets its input from the sequential switch, which gets its input from two, three different quantum modules, and then again the middle one. And four steps in this sequential switch stepping through these different quantizers from ML modules. And they are all set slightly differently. These quantizers get their input from these attenuators, which get their impu input from the sample and hold to the shh module from South Pole. It's a quadruple sample and all. Very useful. 
and this sample and hold is triggered by the clock divider, this one by dust, a Hetrix CV module, which here is a nice representation of what it actually does. It has like dusty uh, signals, it's kind of a noisy signal, which is modulated by this triangle output of this BPM LFO. So one input, uh, the true one trigger, that's what we were talking about, the triggers, comes from the clock divided the other, and this is a chaotic from dust, and this trigger again comes from our clock divider. Then the inputs, one comes from crackle, which is similar to dust, and they're like chaotic, noisy, uh, well, generators useful for all kinds of stuff. In this case, the input for sample and hold, so it gives us pitch information, right, because this goes into our quantizer chain. And this input, I actually took away the cable that was here because without a cable, the sample and hold uses the internal noise as input. And then this one gets this input from dust. So we have crackle, noise, and dust as inputs, and triggers from the clock divider and from dust. And the outputs go into these attenuators to limit the range of uh, CV, the range of pitches that is sent into our quantizers, which then goes through this battery of modules to feed full productive pitch information to our cloud generator. And it also sends pitch information to the resonators, as well as our final oscillator here, the even VCO. The even VCO, as you can see, is dialed a few octaves down, so that's the bass line that you hear. And the, uh, the output of our resonators goes one and the odd here into our mixer channel three. The uh, odd output from the other resonator goes into channel four. Let's uh, listen to that just isolated. Right, so I have uh, panned these a bit more than Dave originally did. And you can hear it's like now nice widely spread over the stereo field. So that's the two resonators we're hearing now. And uh, these get strummed, well, one by the growler and one by this output from flow, which gets its input from oh, over there. This one, this attenuator. So that's a noise input, right, which is triggered by dust. And that's that high crackly sound you're hearing there on the right side. Okay, I've already mentioned growler, so there's these two uh, modules, the growler and formants from uh, Squinky Labs, which also do all kinds of things, but most importantly, they also provide our channel one and two. So if we take these out, and then I'll put channel one and two. That's our growler. And the formants is fired not as much, but it will come in now and then. There.
very subtle. But something's going on there. All right. So these are closer to the center of our stereo field. And as you can hear, there is a lot of reverb and de a long decay. I've actually dialed this up a little bit. I changed some of the other settings here in Plateau. All right, let's uh, go and listen to our bass. So our bass is generated by the even VCO and two of its outputs, the saw and the square wave, go into two tangents filters. And they are then sent to our mixer here. Again, slightly spread. And of course, Plateau spreads it even more with the reverb going on there. And then here the cutoff and the resonance are modulated. The resonance by Growler here. And uh, the cutoff, they go back to our BPM LFOs. And I think that is most of this patch, actually. There is here the flow module also that uh, lets some information come through when it's triggered. So this comes from here. This is a tiny virtual which is the noise signal and uh, the other one That's what I was looking at. And it has a random gate here. There's another random gate here, and its input comes from the growler. And its output goes to the structure parameter here in this resonator, and this one to the strum. No, the brightness. I was saying strum before, right? But it's brightness here. Yeah, this would be the strum but that's not connected. And isn't that just a lovely base? It's just perfect. And this is all the channels on again, our whole patch. Yeah, there's nothing down here. I uh, reorganized it a little from the original, if you've seen that. Uh, the original is on patch storage on the VCV rack. It's named A Resonance of Clouds by Dave Phillips. Well done, man. I really, really love this patch.
So, if you love this part patch as much as I do, go on through the Facebook official users group. Give Dave a thumbs up. You can also like this video, subscribe, and uh, see you again tomorrow.